across the KOF. Generally, the characters you want on point are the characters who are either really good without meter or really bad with the fighting characters who have meter. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And some zoning characters are good for that because they are they the opponent won't have the tools to go straight through their fireballs. And some rushdown characters are good for that because the opponents won't have the tools to zone them out. But here is the latter. Daniel's going to be going in. Expect some uh, high rush down. These buttons are very stubby, but very, very good. Falco's oh, already boy. pushed Shark's head to the corner. As expected, of Mr. Esports himself. <laughs> DS fun. Shout out to DS fun. Their sponsors coming over here to support their boy Falco. Absolutely. Of course, this is one of those matchups where Daniel really needs to get in. Oh boy, nice confirm. Because he already has a fireball. Oh, oh no, it's not going, but it's okay, it's okay. He, he, I believe you get a safe jump off there. Did you allowed to take roll for a second? Yeah, that one though. Oh, okay, okay. Let's get that confirmed. Oh, then he got the confirm, he then just dropped the follow up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Gunkill has a bunch of neat air ability tricks. He's also really quite good at building meter against characters with no fireballs by just doing tactics against the whole thing. Oh. Okay, very, very slow uh, start to this game. Both players really, really uh, respecting their opponents, trying to find ways ways in through neutral, not trying to bulldog, bulldog their ways too far. Which is understandable, because these are both season veterans of 13. Oh yeah. Hey, one of New South Wales' best players. Falco, multiple time champion of Button Smash and SXC. And uh, Alex K is also in top 8 winner's side, I believe, for yes. Street Fighter Five. So he's been putting in a lot of work. Absolutely, and these are games which both have a fairly good reward for fundies, so... Alright, this... Not uh, like it's in. Here, it's the mine. Now, Falco has told us, that, me in particular, that he wanted to play some Rushdown in this game. So why is he playing Mai? Yeah, but now he's playing Mai. Um, I think he just really likes the, just how good she is, pretty much. Like, she's just really, really solid space control well, she's kind of Rushdown like this, you know? She's, yeah. got the, she's got some really good uh, cross ups well, I mean, it's KOF, like so long as you have a half decent run speed, you can probably play Rushdown. Yeah. Uh, what was that change? And oh, Alex K not going for any sort of reversal, but still not watching his speed at all. Wow, just mauled by Falco. All over this guy. Savage play. Bit of a shame. I'm not particularly happy with how you can't do backdash dive pick with your anymore, which makes it much harder to beat reversals. <laughs> but we've got an anchor mature here. Not as good after the big balance patch of 1.03, but... Still a beast, still a beast. Yes. Still got meter to do supers. You can do more activation in the fax mode through a bunch of the X fireballs and the X movies. Get caught by Falco rolling up and nice. rolling up far nice like. confirm, Now, um, before we saw that Alex K is opting to go for a cheap confirms, not blowing all the meter. He's got the bars. He can take out Chin if he gets through mine, but he has to save that resource. It's always the tricky part when you're an anchor character oh, yeah, fighting the yeah. second point is how much meter are you willing to spend? How much of a disadvantage do you want in that final round versus? I see a very cheap combo there. He's just he needs to come up down. Well, if he has any hope of winning this, he has to kill my like, yes. minimal resources. And I think that's a, one of the biggest parts of this game. The, knowing how to use your second character's resources. Absolutely. Very nice. So now he has a chance. He can do about 700 damage. Or yes. more. Falco's if he going taps to get, him at all. Yes. Falco's going to get another bar yes. for losing character. <laughs> Speaking of damage though, Chin. Poor oh boy. This guy kills you off of, uh, I believe, 5 bar any touch. Uh, yes. Four bar any. Four bar with drinks. Four bar any time. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite time. have the ludicrous meatless damage that he did in 13. Okay. But his buttons are still really good. I see he's actually in a really good position now. Really good. Yes. Sir. As long as he avoids a mix up and can get a touch. He's managed to suddenly whittle down Falco yeah. to roughly equivalent health. He's looking really, really strong. Now. Nice. Oh no, Harry. there's the anti air counter. It's where the okay. dance begins. Unless Falco didn't feel like spending any meter on me. Well, Falco's not respecting Ate the reverse. Good job. I'm not sure about how fast the geese counters are in this game, but the chin counter is certainly as fast as it was in 13. Now is raw activation out of this meta now? Raw activation for sure. It's still there, but it's not as good. You get oh, here we go, here we go. The main thing they did was reduce, was increase the amount of bar that gets used when you do the EX moves. Oh, let's get some DPs out here, come on. They're still safe, by you? Okay, there we are. The first two might have been trying to just preempt with an EX record. It also might have just been through the ice. Nice roll. Anyway, you got watch your feet. Get that draw punch. And so Falco is up one game. DS Falco, dark sided. The hey boys, uh, shouts to ZG as well. Probably watching back in uh, Melbourne. Up in heaven. Dark -sided. I mean, <laughs> up in. Well. Hey, Alex K is a free agent, by the way, guys. <laughs> just saying. 
hit him up once he finally defeats Valkyrie here. <laughs> if he defeats Valkyrie, Valkyrie's out, Alex K's in. That's Gengio. how this works. You know, it's like you play the monster, you become the monster. Well. Okay, so this time Yuri's trying to get to play a bit of this game, which is oh, yeah. a fairly well, KOF game. It was so dominance with hot pressure, and then once they respect it, you get the command grab and make them really scared. Well, I mean, he, he won last match by just pure uh, spacing with his uh, mid-range normals and yes. activates. But he didn't quite get a good activation. Yeah, there was a lot of party last time with catching oh, Valkyrie's yeah. attempts to just really sneak in. Like, he won this match up last game, so... Oh, boy. Frame trap. Again, Valkyrie not watching his feet. Getting a bit scared, maybe hitting the button. Now, the Mai, <laughs> what's the problem? Yes. Um, zoning in this game is very... Way better than 13. It's, it's better than 13, yes. Um, but the meter disadvantage to playing his only game is still there. Yes. You block the fireballs, you'll get more meter. Than you. I think it's more prominent in this game because the opponent gets a free bar if they lose a character. Also, if you have one bar equals a uh, an activate combo. Yes. Which can be a good 400, 500 damage. Which, mean, if you die. which changes the game because you now get com big combos off of fast standing normals. Especially yes. against zones. I mean, you got that in 13 as well, but I feel it's a bit easier to hit control in this game. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Such a good damage. Oh! Yeah. Um. Beat twice. I'm Wondering. just flagging! Oh! That's dead. Damage! Why? Why'd she hit so hard? Yeah, I love the EX, the EX supers in this game. <laughs> Getting them off the max like that. It's all Falco's meter, though. So yeah, he's at literal zero right now. Yes. He has to. And oh boy. You get no. the hyper hop D, but oh no. Oh, Alex K. No. And now he's just getting going for those scrambly EX grabs, trying to catch Alex him with that very fast one. I mean, I guess now's the time to DP where you can't get a good punish. Yep. Oh, not quite a good And again, dropping the confirms. Oh, two lights is hard. That, that's alright. We'll figure it out. Nice slap. No, okay. if I can confirm my rush punches with Xanadu Stan B, you can get two <laughs> lights and do it. What oh, slaps? Ah, uh, no. No punish of the roller. Okay, okay. not looking Two hit combo, yet. shout out to James Chen. Lock your camera off! Oh, that's this, that's, that's a crack. critical error. And Huge. That's going to be about 200. I mean, if Falco pulls this out with Mai, he'll probably win the game, and it'll be that moment that is the cause of that, this whole thing. Yes. So here we have my Yuri being what it is in this game. Yuri back to the fairly basic fireballs, the gold ones. I often it's sort of just their air trajectory, but if you start going for that sort of thing, that's time you're spending in the air that might can just jump at you. So he's starting to look out for there and like Jump City is so huge. Oh wow. Absolute perfect spacing there from Alex. Great space. Wins it out with his own jump CD. Still got a pretty hefty advantage here, he's going into round. The final, this <laughs> Kaku's final character with uh, three bars. Almost three bars. And if he gets a few more hits like that, it'll be good. Chin is just terrifying. Darko pressure's happening. Yeah. Got a Chin getting it. Oh man. Now, Chin's, Chin's mix up game is nowhere near as good as it was in 30. But his damage is just ridiculous. It's so yes. good. He's got the damage, and if he feels like doing raw activation, EX turn punch, man. <laughs> he turn punch. He's, he's got that the berserker slash, slash of this game. <laughs> there we are. That that's Chin. <laughs> Jump back CD. <laughs> Look at that big circle of people. Whoa. The man moves out to the advanced level zoning. Oh man, Whoa. dropping the potential confirm. Just opting for what a pilot stack pressure. That's reasonable okay, course. Time. But I did a lot of downs last time, so next time try and bait another combo. Again. One more, one touch. Oh no, from here we go. Do one. not throw a fireball, Mature, you will die. Oh, I'm watching. Yeah, oh, I was watching. Nice up. block, no punish. No. Not like He needed place. a one hit confirm from that. Yeah, not yeah, bothering nice. to counter the fireball. Oh, wow. And wasn't even bothering to roll under him as well. That's okay, he's getting some life into him now. He's going nuts. He can kill him, one. If both characters can probably. Well, not oh, punch him. no. Dropping the hop like that, that thing. He's got the X fireball. Darko's not off the junk out of the out. He's dead away to death, he's got plenty of armor. Oh wow, that's <laughs> Okay, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. That's no, that's, 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 that's meatless. Like oh, well, I mean meatless as in when he started the combo, yeah. Oh, oh, Alex okay. It's whittling him down, no big damage, no fancy huge 80%ers. Just straight fundamentals. 
very much a two-player game. game so far. Oh yeah. These steady little battles, getting these hits. That's mostly just my burst damage has been so much. Yeah, Mai's my, definitely been the MVP with the damage at least. But no one's actually landing huge big uh, starters. Everyone's getting hit by moves that uh, either don't confirm or have been failed to be confirmed. Hang on. First pressure is really good once you get started. Darko not quite getting timing right in my head. Hit the jump deal in the middle where they actually get a combo. That's what I'm jumping. There we are. Okay. One of the great things about how this game works in comparison to the Dragon is that you can feel you feel so much more confident about being willing to preempt with things like party. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. part of what makes Robert so good is you can really check people both in mid range and in the aerial game. Um, just and also, standing. I think air normals in this game are in general not as good. Yeah. Because anti airs are also not as good, which makes low B trip guarding even better in this game in my opinion. I say if you jump low by LSK. Jump CD, pressure, being cautious, trying to find a single hit confirmed with that D. Nice, just keeping it. Whoa, Falco! Falco catches. Falco confirms, drops the combo in true Falco style. Amazing confirm, great spacing, drops the combo. Authentic Falco play. Brilliant decision maker, but when he's not in the lab. Oh boy. Now, Alex Brilliant Kays. decisions like running into that party. Just gotta watch his spacing, man. Oh, I mean, you know, uh, we can be beautiful for that. I mean, the Ori party is pretty good. My though. You can jump CD. Certainly a way to assert space. That's what my wants. She wants to assert this is where I'm gonna be. You back away now. Now I can throw the fireball and take my space to you. This is a big tag in the combo. Needle stand. And with a knockdown. Ooh, nice. Yes, there we have a bait. Trying to catch out any sort of raw attempt. Oh boy, nice confirmed by Falco. Even when, even when it's only doing that like last hundred damage, that one bar is totally worth it to get that kill. I'm a big fan oh, yeah, of absolutely. spending the meter to get the kill in KOF. Oh, always, always. Spend the bar. Oh, unless it's your final character and you need to spend all of it, then yeah, spend the bar. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh boy, no. no, the Falco special strikes again. Oh, look out, it's the Unji Butterfly. He's jumping way out of the mind. It can be a bit trickier to pin people down this game. So much better yeah, what was that? That's dead. That's dead. Take him down to the chin. I don't like the game you're right now. It's not doing anything. But the chin. Now we'll see some truly silly chin stuff if Falco is able to bring this back. Let's see, he's getting three bars. Oh yeah. Four bars. Four bars. Four and a half. A single touch will kill this Yuri, no problem. But Unless you go for a raw activation in the middle of the thing. see some Berserker slashes. Yes, he's really determined to. Nice. Okay, Blam. this will happen. Juggle. Oh, no, 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 juggle. no juggle. Didn't know what side he would be on. That's difficult. It can be a bit tricky when you're that certain distance from the corner. He's being so cautious. SK has no bar, but Falco's nice. Oh, good boxes! Jump away, He's being so cautious because he knows he can hit him from half the screen away even when his fat is not touching. Wonder of KOF hit boxes. <laughs> That's why he's patient. <laughs> it's basically the jam jump age. <laughs> oh, wow. I was not aware that Posty actually hit that. Oh, boy. He just wants to get in with some Berserker slashes. That's what he wants. Yes. Oh boy, well, there we are. Nice begins. neutral jump, excellent. That neutral jump to catch it, excellent decision making. Yeah. Throw on a yeah. minimal bar, no one can kill yet. Ah, uh, can get in. No one can actually kill. Yeah. Great. Brilliant patience by Falco, choosing the correct time so far. Great. <laughs> Jumping back with Tweez. Again, so few hard knockdowns in this Ooh. game that's very... It's a bit hard to maintain. Come on, Antia. Now, Falco was telling me that a chip can blow up neutral jumps quite well by just running up and doing the double kicks. Yes! Yes! So this oh, is going to hurt. Oh, he's not. Oh, man. Catching that. Nice. Oh, no, no disrespect. This is going to hurt. Blam. Follow up off this. Follow up. Another one. No. Chooses to save it. He can kill him one more combo. I think it's just... Whoa! No! Reversal! Reversal! 
Lindsay in a wake up the XD team, oh man. Oh, well, it was mature, you know. He's got a count of the pizza. Yeah, that's true. He's good. Oh, yeah, but run on me to counter, I don't know about that. Anyway, congratulations to LSK. Moving on to winner's final, DSVAR, who moved back to loser's bracket, top five.